Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. So glad that you could be joining today and we could study God's Word together. Uh, we've been doing uh, a series uh, on questions, uh, typically questions that the, uh, the Lord Jesus was asked uh, during his earthly ministry, when he interacted with people, when he had conversations with people, that people would ask him questions and the Lord would answer. And, uh, and this is you know, something which is uh, of value for our learning and for our application. So today we're going to look at uh, another such question um, which the Lord was asked. And we see this in John chapter 3 and, uh, and verse 3 onwards. When the Lord asked, when the Lord you know, uh, said, unless one is born again, to Nicodemus he said, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So Nicodemus said to him, how can a man be born when he is old? Right? How can a man be born when he is old? And the Lord goes on to uh, answer Nicodemus and teach him. And now Nicodemus is a, is a teacher by himself um, and he's a leader, um, a, a spiritual leader. And the Lord goes on to teach him uh, some deep spiritual truths. Right? So let's, let's look at that. So the Lord responded in this manner. In, in verse 5, we see this. Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of Spirit is Spirit. So, here was the Lord talking about spiritual matters, and he was talking about a kingdom, the kingdom of God, which is spiritual in nature and, uh, and how a person can enter into the kingdom of God or have access into the kingdom of God. And Nicodemus was looking at the physical, he was looking at the natural and his question was geared around that. You know, his question uh, uh, pointed that out. He said, how can a man be born again? You know, can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? How can this happen? How is this possible? So the Lord is saying, you know, that which is born of the spirit is spirit and that which is born of the flesh is flesh. There is a flesh, uh, there is a birth that happens in the flesh, in the natural. And there is a spiritual birth. And unless all those who are born in the flesh have that spiritual birth, they cannot enter into the kingdom of God. And he called that the born again experience. And so this is a reality that for all of us, and so the question that we need to ask ourselves is, am I born again? Okay. Am I born again? Uh, because I can be here physically, but my spirit need not necessarily be born again. That is not automatic. So that's something that we see. We being born again is not, not, is not automatic. It's something that we need to, it's, it's a choice of our will when we receive the Lord as Lord and Savior. Romans 10 talks about that. When we confess the Lord, when we believe in our heart that, that God raised him from the dead, then we are born again. Right? Then we come alive. Um, so we, we go down and uh, we see in verse 16, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And we all know this verse. And it is in response to this question that Nicodemus asked that the Lord answers this. So it's, it's a very important thing that unless we are born again, we cannot enter the kingdom of God. But God so loves us, and continues to love us. Love us. Uh, he loved us so much that he sent his begotten, only begotten son to die on the cross. That whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Um, so this is something for us to experience if we have not yet received the Lord as our Savior. And this is something for us to share with others to the world outside, that they'll be born again. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord. Your word says that you loved us so much that you gave your only begotten son, Jesus. 
that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Father, we pray for those who have not yet made that decision to believe in you. I pray that we move to believe in you today. And we also pray for those, oh God, friends, family, relatives, Lord, who do not uh, yet believe in you. Lord, we pray even as we share the gospel, Lord, that they will put their faith in you and be born again. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.